Hey, what is up, guys? Teacher Keith here. <clears throat> this is my fourth installment in the ongoing series of uh, online dating scams. Okay, so we will talk a little bit about the crypto uh, currency investment fraud. Okay, so um, so <coughs> usually, according to my research, the deception starts out as romance fraud and transforms into cryptocurrency investment fraud in which victims have lost millions of dollars. Essentially, the criminal seduces the victim online, uh, then gets him or her to make bogus e investments in crypto. It's been a growing problem uh, for the last, you know, ever since cryptocurrency uh, started, like in the coronavirus. Uh, victims don't realize there's no money in their digital currency accounts until it's too late. Okay, so they can put a thousand dollars a week into their cryptocurrency, and then uh, they will think, uh, "Hey, I've got uh, sixty thousand dollars in there. I'm ready to take a vacation and meet my lover." And it turns out that sixty weeks ago, uh, their lover was using their uh, cryptocurrency. Okay, so, um, yeah, so the trail of destruction that cryptocurrency scammers leave in their wake, uh, uh, please note that victims not only grapple with financial loss, but heartbreaking betrayal. Okay, so let's talk about the scope of the problem here. Uh, it is hard to pinpoint a uh, precise number of victims. Scams are notoriously underreported. Uh, so somebody who has been cheated out of $60,000 or whatever, uh, they may feel embarrassed and not report that. Okay, so uh, the Federal Trade Commission did uh, report $1.3 billion in, uh, in reported losses uh, from 56,000 reports. And, uh, yeah, so the cryptocurrency uh, fraud has uh, gained more and more traction every year. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and call that a lesson for today. Uh, do me a favor, like, and subscribe. Bye-bye.